Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Candy of Natural Hair Dynamics, and today's video, as the title suggests, is something that I'm really challenging myself with. Um, it just came to me that, hmm. Matter of fact, I did style my hair one time with one bobby pin, and it was pretty simple. So I was like, I wonder if there are other styles that I could possibly challenge myself to do using only one bobby pin. So that's what I'm about to do today. Mm -hmm, that's a challenge. Doing as many styles as possible with only one bobby pin. So yeah. So without further ado, well, let me um, take the time to, to welcome everyone back to my channel. And if it's your first time watching, please do subscribe. Please do stay because we have a lot more videos coming and we have a lot more in the archives that you can go back and watch. So it's a family over here. So let's get this going. All right. All right. So in my last video, I actually did a tutorial showing how I installed these goddess um, box braids. These are actually crochet. And if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out so you can see how I did these in the front individually. Mm -hmm. These are individuals in the front using the same crochet here. So if you want to check that technique out, be sure and go ahead and check that out. All right, so let's get going. All right, so the first style I want to try is um, somewhat of a half up, half down look. And... I'm just taking the first couple of rows in the front and I'm just going ahead and kind of rolling and tucking all the way across. All right, so now that we have um, this portion of hair that is um, loose and needs to be secured, I'm gonna use my one bobby pin. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna use it to secure all of the hair to the side. And voila. fluffing the curls and guys I said I would do a review on this hair and I just might before I take it down um, but so far it's not bad at all it's still hanging in there this is the third week of wearing the style and it still looks pretty decent if you ask me yeah so this is the first style I just pretty much did a roll and tuck all the way across and then pinned it in place with my bobby pin. Look number Style number one. Alright guys, so that's style number one. Um, time to attempt the second look. Just taking down the, the roll, the French roll that I did in the front. And the next style will require me to do somewhat of a mock braid in the front. I'm going to show you what I mean. And you will realize quickly that most of the styles are going to be 
with half of the hair down because that's just the look I like and it's pretty much easier that way when you just pretty much style the front and allow the back to hang all right so all right so now that I've separated the front portion of the hair what I'm gonna do is Taking a portion of hair from the right side and a portion of hair in the very front area from the left side. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pretty much bring the, the, air, the air hair from the right to the left and from the left to the right. And then go again and grab some more here from the right and overlap that over the hair that came from the left to the right like such and I'm grabbing from the left likewise grab some from the left see where it, it is somewhat of like a crisscross type vibe it somewhat looks like a braid mm -hmm. kind of sort of and then our trusty one pin will hold it in place over this side bam and just like that look number two and guys you will quickly realize that for the most part, I like messy looks. I don't like the overly neat look. So if you see hair flying all over the place or curls hanging randomly, that's what I like. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Last second look, this is giving me headband vibes, and I'm gonna do the shake test. <laughs> the shake test will determine if the hair will stay in place, you know. So, yeah, it feels very secure. Yeah, very secure. No, it is there. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a top bun, yes, a messy top bun, might I add. After all, I'm working with one bobby pin here, guys. So, yeah, it's gonna be a messy top bun. All right, so let's see what we can do. Flip the hair over, bam. So once we have gathered all the hair together in a ponytail, what I'm going to do is kind of sort of use one strand of the hair 
to act as if it is a hair tie. We use one from the back, no, from the side. Just wrapping that around like such. Mm -hmm. And just to be safe, I'm using another one from over the other side. Just to reinforce it. And I'll make a knot. And then the challenge is to try to get all of the hair secured in somewhat of a messy bun without it being obvious that I only use one bobby pin. What you want to do is talk, just talk. The more you talk, is the less hair you have to secure with the bobby pin. So I'm just tucking as much as I can underneath the base of the ponytail. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's a messy bun, and I said before that I like messier looks anyway, so it's fine. All right, so it's kind of feel insecure enough so I'm gonna just use the bobby pin to pin the hair in place at the front. You have a pick up position. I think gonna pin it in the back, the side, the front, but hey, I think front is better. So front it is. Mm -hmm. I did it! I did it! Mm -hmm. Style number three, a high ponytail with one bobby pin. No hair tie. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Okay? It looks, it, it look good. I'm not gonna even lie, it look goodish. It look kinda goodish. Yeah. And you can it intentionally make um, some of your curls hang. Yeah, to give it a messy vibe, which is what I'm going to do. Just, you know, gently pull out some because you know it's already not too, too secure. So you cannot mess with this style too much at all or it's just going to just collapse. But it feels pretty secure. Yeah, so this is what number three, guys, of my one hairpin challenge yeah. I'm gonna do a quick spin because I'm not sure what's going on in the back and I'm pretty sure the back is a hot mess but hey quick spin If you caught it, you caught it. If you didn't catch it, yeah. But yeah, this is look number three, you guys. High bun, high messy bun with random curls. And this can be a casual look. You can actually dress this up to be a more formal look if you tweak it a bit. You know, this is pretty much your um, any occasion here, though. Alright? So, mm -hmm. yeah guys there you have it look number three uh-huh let's keep it going next look coming up all right look number four the front mm -hmm. 
So we're just doing a regular three strand braid. Separate the, the braids into three sections of hair and you just start braiding it as if you're doing a regular braid. And this is an outside braid, not an a, a inside braid or an under braid they call it. So this is an over braid, not an under braid. Let me just use this to hold this in place while I deal with the other side. And for the other side, I'm just going to do another braid going over to the same side. Alright? So I'm just starting right here, right at the exact spot where this braid started is where I'm starting the other braid. Alright, so now that I've gotten to the ending point of the first braid, what I'm going to do is merge both braids together using one strand of the hair, wrap it around like such, and then secure that hair with my body pin. Yeah, guys, so this is the look. This is just, you know, a nice little crown braid going across and then one of those chunky braids also going 
back, both braids meeting together over to the left side of near to the nape of the neck and you just fluffy curls and that's it for this look and you will notice sometimes that the curls will try to pop out if you're like me you'll just let them be for a more effortless messy look I could leave that one curl out and I'm, I think I'm gonna leave it out or you could tuck it in if you wish but I think it's a nice little um, delicate feminine touch with that one curl yeah how it look how it look top truth how it look does it work is it a vibe And again, you guys saw me styling here without looking in a mirror in the back, so the back might be a hot mess. If it was a regular day when I'm not filming, of course, I would go in with my, my double mirror to see what's going on in the back. But, hey, it is what it is for today. So, let's do a quick turnaround so that you can see what the back looks like. Don't judge the back, okay? Do not judge me on the back. Yeah, so this is look number four, you guys. Mm -hmm. Look number four. One body pin challenge with look number bam, four. Yeah, so the last look. Hmm, how am I gonna do the last look? I'm just making these styles up as I go, to be honest. With the exception of the first one because the first one is pretty much a go-to um, style of mine it's the easiest way to style my hair when I don't want my you know hair to be on my face too much I just bam 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 and do that um, French roll in the front so that is a go-to so that was planned but everything else I'm just trying to wing it but I, I'm sorry I didn't do this one last because I would have just left this one in Cause I like it. I really like this one. I like it. All right guys, so last but by no means least is style number five the final style that i'm going to be attempting with my singular bobby pin mm -hmm. <laughs> one bobby pin all right so let's go um this is going to be an updo this is going to be very challenging though because it's a lot of hair and for it to be all in an updo i'm thinking i'm pushing my luck but hey we're here for the challenge, all right? So let's go. All right, so starting in the back, I'm gonna be doing somewhat of a French roll. All right, so you do that French roll vibe. Ooh, maybe I can do swoop the front at the same time. Should I swoop the front at the same time? Yeah, maybe it's easier to pin everything in place if I just go ahead and swoop. Challenge. Who's a challenge? Hmm? Who's a challenge? Crazy me would leave these hanging, but that's not the idea right now. I'm just trying to get everything secured right that's the that's the aim to get everything secured before I even start to try to set the hair in the position that I want it to be all right so once I feel like it feels tight enough 
and secure enough i'm gonna find the optimal position <laughs> in order to place this one bobby pin lordy lordy all right so let's go guys let's do this all right It's gonna be a challenge. Ouch. This one is in my scalp. Hold on. Adjustment. Alright, that's better. Alright, so now that the hair is in place <laughs> somewhat, let's try to see what we can do to make this look like it was styled under normal circumstances. <laughs> All right, so the swoop that I was trying to create in the front is no more like a swoop. Kind of wanted it to, you know, come down on the face a little bit, but that didn't happen. That did not happen at all. Should I do a take two? All right, let me see if I can. Hallelujah. Yeah, this is what I wanted in the first place and then all of these curls would have just randomly haphazardly fallen over let me see if i can create some length I'm trying to create some length so that it can cover what it needs to cover the more of these curls I tug on the tighter the hair feels yes awesome so that's a hack yeah that's a hack oh this one is too tight now yeah this one is too tight now but hmm Alright guys, so under normal circumstances, <laughs> I would have used that extra bobby pin and you know, neaten up the front area right here so that it lays where you want it to lay. But since we can't do that, it just has to remain the way it remains. Let me see if I can do my talking me method that I've been using all evening, trying to talk away, you know, those hairs that tend to not be cooperating just tuck them away mm -hmm. fluff 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 and fluff yeah i'm pretty much hold on let me go in and tighten this by tucking it right This is giving me 90s vibes, you guys. This is giving me my high school days. I'm now channeling, channeling my high school barbecue, fat affair, fit. I'm now channel, channeling that, um, that candy right now with this hairstyle. Yeah, but... Mm -hmm. This is the style for number five and I'm going to give you a variation of the style in case this is not working for you. I'm going to show you the back. Again, disclaimer. Remember this disclaimer? Okay, disclaimer. I can give you an up close version of the style. Just a bunch of curls, you know, cascading over the swoop in the front. 
that's all. All right, so the variation was that, but I wanted to take some pictures of this first. I'll come back to you with a variation. What? Hey guys, so this is the fifth and final look. Yes, this updo with my attempt attempted swoop. It feels pretty secure, you guys. I must say, I am surprised that one bobby pin held up all of this hair. Yeah, so this is just the look. And if you wanted, you could have, you know, um, maybe taken down the front. I'm gonna attempt to do that. It's a whole world out there, guys, for you to explore. You can twist this, bring it underneath like such, and tuck it underneath like that. Wow, this is a look. This is a look. Mm. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Look number five, you guys. Yes, look. Number five, last but not least, fifth and final in my oh, one bobby pin challenge. Why am I saying what? I keep saying channel. Um, one bobby pin challenge, and it was pretty fun. And I mean, these styles, I think I could have gone on and on and on in creating some of these, you know, very um, interesting looks using just one bobby pin. Who would have thought? I would not have thought that this was possible, but I'm glad I tried it. And if you're stuck in a situation where you're either not equipped with hair tools, you don't have hair ties, you don't have a ton load of bobby pins to work with, yeah, this is a hack right here. So you can still look cute using one bobby pin and your braid style of any kind all right so thank you guys so much for watching thank you um, for making it natural here in namix remember to like rate subscribe and share tell a friend about natural here in namix we do post on wednesdays and on saturdays so stay tuned for more videos to come and be sure to watch in the archives my hundreds of other videos that are uploaded and stay tuned for the ones to come all right Take care, love you guys, and be safe. Bye.